hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me um in today's video i'm going to talk about something very interesting something that a lot of you have been asking a lot of you have been trying to do but you find challenges in also trying to uh, do it. so uh, stick to the end of this video because i want to talk about how to hide your Alibaba address so many people many of our uh, people especially those who do business want to buy on Alibaba because as we know when it comes to Alibaba it's an online wholesale uh, store where you can uh, buy things from the manufacturers from the factory and you buy them in bulk so it's a very good platform for beginners in business and those who want to also try out some other things to buy online. So Alibaba is the way to go. But always it, when it comes to shipping, there's a challenge for others who cannot um, put their uh, shipping address on Alibaba. And in today's video, I'm going to review to you two ways in which you can add your address on Alibaba using iShop, Tigmo, no, Tigmo doesn't ship to China, but iShop and um, Fry Cargo, all these are very good when it comes to shipping from China. So when you want to buy from Alibaba, there are two ways that you can do, and I'll talk about them in this video. Yeah, so beginning with the first one, which is the simplest, and you don't have to hustle or make anything complicated, com any complicated things is you will have to send your address to your supplier so when you're buying on alibaba the main thing that happens is you will have a chat with the with the supplier with the factory representative or from wherever you are buying from so you have to send you have to chat with them so in the process when you they will send you an invoice they'll send you all the items and they'll send you how uh, or they'll 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 they um um make sure that you chat with them and you are very uh um you are very sure of what you want to buy and they'll also line you through all the the, the items how many uh they'll also even the packaging the box whatever they'll be you'll be able to chat with them and after that they'll send you a link of the payment so that's another thing. Um, payment method they will you pay through um, Alibaba but when it comes to the shop uh, the shipping address they will ask for it you will have to send them and then when you when you send them the um, the shipping address then they'll write down for you for 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 on the package or whatever and then they'll be able to send that item so that's a very easy and convenient way to first um, um, had the shipping address which is very simple and direct and the other one is you have to use the one in AliExpress that is you don't want every time to copy and paste your address for China then you can buy you can just add it on your uh, shipping um, on your on your on your Alibaba account so that wherever you want to buy something you can either automat automatically tell them that the address is in like they'll be able to see it or you can send them but it's also a good thing to just give uh, just add the the address on your platform so that you can also use the same platform to just copy and paste the item so that you don't have to every time go back and copy your your your, your address from iShop or Fry Cargo in order for you to give to the your supplier. So it's very important also to have the address added on to your account way beforehand, way before you even think of buying anything. So that's it. Um, yeah, so uh, these are the two main ways that you can add on if there is any more um you can drop them in the comment section below but for now let's jump into the computer and see how we'll add our address on 
Alibaba. So this is specifically for Alibaba and um, how uh, you add the address because also Alibaba is a trusted platform where you can buy and the item can eventually reach you here in Zambia. So let's see how to add the address on Alibaba. What will you will have to do right now is you need to open two tabs and that is one for your Alibaba account and the other one is for your iShop. So let me just log in one quickly. So yeah, you need to to open two tabs and uh, so in uh, Alibaba In Alibaba, you have to go to your, uh, your account. Let me see. So this is my account here. And uh, yeah, so uh, this is my account. And I will go to ship to. So this is uh, where all my shipping address will be. Um, here, the delivery option and theming vary based on your location. So you can either put your Zambian, uh, your Zambian uh, address, but here I have like a couple of uh, Chinese addresses as well. So let's see all, all of them. So if you're using your phone, it's almost the same and uh, you will um, see. So this is my uh, iShop uh, dashboard, and you can see I have bought all these items and they have been delivered to me. As you can see, they are being delivered. So here, what I'll do is that I'll go to delivery addresses and this is for UK, this is for uh, USA, this is for uh, China. So this is where iShop is shipping from right, right now. And I don't know what happened to South Africa. They were also shipping from South Africa, but I cannot see from here, which is also another concern. But this is not why I'm here. My... Um, Emphasis is on here how to add your shipping address. So when you come here, my Alibaba, you see that uh, I have these addresses. So this is one for also iShop and also this one and also this one. Let me delete them so that I can have only have one. Right now, I don't have any shipping address here, so I will, so this is Alibaba. Uh, add, how to add the China shipping address is very easy because you just copy and paste, that's all you do. So click on add address and here region or country you have to select uh, China. Yeah, because the parcel will be coming from uh, the supplier to, to 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 in the address in China. So don't add Zambia. Just add uh, China here. Then line address number one. Here you add. So here it says street as uh, PO box, whatever, whatever. So you here when you come, line address is uh, so. The trick here is when it when you see this, this and uh, this are the same. So they are all like the same in Chinese. So this one is in Chinese and the other one here is in English. So sometimes when you're talking to your supplier, some may not even know English. So it's better if you can uh, copy just this one and send to them. If they know English, you can copy everything. So line address number one, I will just copy first flow um, wing, uh, first flow, first flow wing. 
I'll copy and I'll come here and I'll paste here. Okay, so here I will have to choose um, the um, the 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 options from the options, but if you want, just leave it like that. So it doesn't really matter. So and then line at line address number two, there is apartment, so unit, and it's optional, but to be on the server side, just uh, put in this so unit, and then until here. So you copy all this. Then you come to your um, Alibaba, Alibaba section and you paste here. So this is how you do it. Then state or province will come back to eBay. So this is Jing Janding District. So that's the state or province. Just copy and come here and I'll paste. Then select a city. You come back here. This is Shanghai. Just copy Shanghai. That should be the city. Then my paste in here. Then zip code. Zip code is a 20. Uh, yeah, these numbers right here. So just copy this. Just copy this. Um, sorry. Okay, just copy this and uh, add on to here. We test the zip code. And uh, contact name, so contact name, you come back to iShop and just copy this. The entire thing, including your, um, your ID number, everything. Copy and come here and uh, paste. Then here where it says mobile number. So mobile number, when, it, when here you have telephone number and mobile number. So. The telephone number there is plus six. So eventually they're talking about this one. So copy this one, copy, then come here and back, paste here. So that's the phone number and uh, your house. Now, like, this is how you do it. This is how you, uh, you act, feel, or, um, your address and here are some tags so that the the one who is sending can know this should be a warehouse and you just click on submit and this is how you successfully add uh, address a shipping address if you're living in zambia using ishop as your forwarding agent or your carrier and uh from there now all you need to do is go and browse through and if you see something interesting and uh, you can buy confidently without having to worry about real shipping address so you have two options it's either you um you you give them your address or they or you they get from uh, your 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 personal information which is uh, on the uh, on the uh, on your account so this is how you do it um yeah and uh if you have any questions and there's a bit to comment down below if you need more information you can also join the whatsapp group you can reach out to me uh we have a very good team that helps us we help each other to do things so um that's it for today um and see you in my uh, next video um bye bye